Have you been there before? The scrapyard? Nah. Just seen the sign on my way to camp. What if we just, like, walk to the main road? This isn't the main road? No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever? Yeah. What was that? Let's just keep moving. Okay. So, Ryan and Laura, huh? Oh boy. Do you think there was something going on there? Yeah, there were definitely sparks flying there. Yeah, I know, but I couldn't tell if it was angry sparks or like sexy sparks. Definitely felt like sexy sparks. <sighs> Doesn't she already have a boyfriend? Yeah, but Ryan's Ryan. Not that it matters, now that he's off on a daring adventure with Little Miss Mysterious. How do you compete with that? Honestly, I don't know if he's worth the effort. I call bullshit. Excuse me? You're in it, dude. You've got feelings. Ryan's just gonna go wherever the wind blows him. Wouldn't be the first dude to go where he's getting blown. <laughs> Wouldn't really matter anyway. It looks like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident and heroic with an eye patch. So pirates. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> there. Oh shit. Relax. It's motion sensor. We're okay. I think. Oh, look. Steampunk's back in. Ew. Come on. This way. Put me down! Easy, Ma. Put me down, you old witch! Blow your fucking head up! Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. Gotcha. You'll pay for what you did to my Kaylee. You ain't hurting us anymore. You are done. Everybody stop! Murderous bitch. Ma, shut the fuck up! That ain't no way to be talking to your mother. Yes, sir. Put me down, asshole! What the hell is going on up here? We ain't keeping them safe anymore, Bobby. Not after what they did to our Kaylee. Yeah, 
I'm not doing that. No. Oh. Hell yeah, I do. Don't make me chase you, pig boy. Knife back. You made it dirty. Slippy little bastard, but I got him. Clipped her wing. What? Got her, you idiot. Not yet, you haven't. around here?
What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We ain't playing games no more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. Careful, Jen. She looks off. No, she's been bit. You know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you. But I sure to hell can make you suffer. Travis, get your ass up here. We need silver for this one. Travis? Where the hell is he? Oh, shit. Don't let her run, Jed. Cut her down! She can see in the dark. She's one of them. Where are you? I'm gonna enjoy watching you die, girl. Hey! Everybody fucking stop right now! Take her head off, Travis. She's bit. Yeah. Yeah, fill her with silver, son. I'm good. You're awake. I thought I could feel your breath on my cheek, but I wasn't sure. I don't know if I'm supposed to kill you yet. I usually gotta wait until I'm told. No. No. You wait right here. I'm gonna ask my dad. Dad? Dad, are you there? Bobby? Travis, where's dad? I, I got a live one here, T. I got the boy. He been bit, Bobby? Nah, I don't think so. He's bleeding, though. I think he's dying. Okay, what's your position? Um, standing. No, where are you, Bobby? Oh, I'm in the old wing in that little room, you remember? Yeah, keep him there. I'm coming. Oh, trust me, he's not going anywhere. He's gone! Yo, oh, come on, man. This is you... my knife. No, please. Please. Nobody takes my knife. You stab me. You're leaking red like a juice box. No. Oh. 
please, you, you can, you can help me. No, man, you're bleeding out. The only thing I can do is put you out of your misery. Humane light. <sighs> oh, Laura. Oh, no, you've been bit. Pick on someone your own size. Travis! <sighs> <sighs> Oh, easy. Easy. What the fuck happened to you? Oh, uh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, Ryan. Oh, how bad is it? I'm so sorry. That bad, huh? I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First Max, how are you? I mean, I didn't want to say it, but... You shouldn't have come with me. You think? Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? Wait. Maybe it, maybe it will. What? Ryan. If you let me bite you... What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected. Which means... Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means... Yeah. Yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <sighs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life, and mine, and Max's and your friend's too. Let you bite me, and live to kill Chris Hackett, or bleed out and die. Pretty much, yeah. It's your call, for now. So we doing this or no? I just think, I think one of us needs to stay human. But you'll die. You don't care about that. You just want someone to do your dirty work. Oh. Shut uh. up. So it's okay for me, for Max, for your friends to be infected, just not precious Ryan, even if it saves your life. You're a fucking asshole. guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped apart. It's just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. 
Okay, so we're looking for engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. in a documentary. No. Shut up. Come on. Let's go. These sons of bitches had it all planned out. Who's T? Mm. Looks like these guys were cooking the books a little. Dodgy. You said it. Sorry, that was scary. That's so annoying. We are being hunted by literal monsters, and this is what bothers you? Yeah, both are bad. What's this? Harem Scarum. See this, Caitlin?
So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Oh, I hear that, yeah. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um, just uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. All right. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. Welcome back, grabber. Now you're falling away, will you? What the hell is going on? My bad. Ah, oh, shit, okay. All right. Here goes nothing. You did it! Yeah, uh, I think I found my calling. <laughs> About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score! Oh shit, oh shit. Shit, uh, um, uh... Caleb! <laughs> Together. Okay, okay, uh, um... Up there, but you should have moved out of the way. Where I... was I supposed to go? Whoa, okay. Sorry I saved your life. Jeez. <sighs> so, so much for our brilliant escape plan. Okay, back to the lodge. Are you nuts? 
Better than being out in the open. Come on. Getting through there in a hurry. Man, this place is huge. I might need to rest a bit. It's not too late. I can still bite you. Sorry to disappoint, but the answer is still no. Oh, don't you worry about me. I'll be fine. I'm good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Watch your step. Yep. What was that? I think. I think we found Chris Hackett. You had your chance. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family and you failed. Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just look to the future, shall we? Death. 
Death takes many forms. It could mean change, transition, transformation, often interpreted as a, a beacon for the hopeful. In your case, it means, well, it just means death. <laughs> <laughs> the sun, the vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. <sighs> Judgment. Judgment Day is upon us. That's what you'd expect from this card, isn't it? Though perhaps in this case, it's simpler than that. Perhaps one's own judgment, a snap decision to make, can save them from their own personal day of reckoning. Every step matters, every decision tipping the balance, one way or the other. Take your time, think, and maybe survive. There's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Yes, good. But I can only delve deeper into one possible future. So which is it? Choose. One last time, go back. Go back and end this. <laughs> 